Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Sea of Stars. Valir and Rashan are journeying through Kiln Mountain as our part of Garl's quest. I love that we kind of all went off to do our separate things. But we need to move onward because we're not done yet. And I have a feeling something nasty is waiting for us up here. Okay, yeah, this is a lot of build up here. Uh-oh. This is our target? Yes. Ho! Oh, that's angry looking. It will be vulnerable to your lunar magic. Good. Alright, so... Let's see what I want to do. Okay, your basic attack is not vulnerable or anything like that. Hmm, I should have attacked first with Moonerang, so it could have all been damage on him. Eh, well, it is what it is. Decent. Decent damage. Nice thing is, when this guy blows up, it should only affect one of us each time. I like that we're kind of spaced out here. Alright, what are you going to do? Hmm, that should have been easily blockable. Um, I'm not going to be able to fully break all of this. Well, let's do what we can. Tremor! Oh dear. Okay. Uh, decent blocking. Again, not going to be able to break all of this, so... You're just forcing me to use up all of my magic orbs lying on the ground. Man, you really didn't like Valir there. Oh gosh, really? You're going to keep doing the same thing? Well, it's okay. Just giving us a chance to build up a lot of uh, combo gauge. That one wasn't bad, actually. Oh, gosh. Really? Okay, fine. Um, well, I think if I do this... Alright. Let's do a single attack from you. Oh, he's bringing out them. Alright, fine. It's for Sean. If I do this and then do combo Arcane Moons... I wonder if this will do double arcane to him. Probably not, but we can try it. Nope. It was worth a shot. Eh, this is going to be bad. Oh! It hits his own guys, too. Well, that was actually kind of nice. Except for the fact they're about to blow up. Alright. Well... As much as I would like to try to break this apart, I think it's more important that I heal up. Uh, nope, not... There we go. Petrichor. This is a weird fight. I'm not getting much chance to use my lunar magic. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to hit your own guy too. Causing him to try to kill us. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, that could have been worse. Alright. Let's weaken him as much as possible. I really would love to use some Moonerangs on him, but it doesn't make sense right now. Oh, 
Okay, you're doing like a normal attack. Um, you know, yeah. Mo Moonerang you just as you are there. Good. As much as I would have liked uh, to have Rashawn uh, create an orb to boost, I think it's much better. Oof. Tempting. Uh, that I get all that attack on you alone. Um, yeah, let, let's do this combo attack. Decent damage. Okay. Um, you don't have enough to heal. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use... I don't have a party... I have one party heal. Let's use that. All right, that's okay. Um, yeah, that, that's all right. All right, let y'all go. That's fine. Now they're all gonna try to blow. Oh no, they didn't. Their HPs are way too high. Okay. Um, sure, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Got him! Fight fire with Lunar. Defeat the Toad Kano. I totally never checked his name. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Rashawn. Naturally. Now to wait for the others. That was a weird fight. Very strange. And so we must come together for his final wish. For girl! For girl! Of course the Mirth Villagers are all going to help out Garl. He's beloved by all. <laughs> Lots of farming. And that's the use of the scale. Oh, look at it grow so fast! That's actually really cool. <laughs> oh, I love the pirates helping out. Great job, everybody! That air be that let me start over. Great job, everyone! That there hold be full to the brim. A valiant effort! It's time to set sail. All aboard. Wait for me! Oh, okay, I love her super fast running to catch up animation. Totally. And the face on Zale, too. <laughs> Girl. Do you think... Zale! So, you got Zephyr? Right here. How about Melkamud? He's still working on it. We'll need time anyway. Lots of crops in the Vespertine. Right. Let's all go and... Oh. Girl! I'm okay, Valir. Just need a moment here. Ugh. You take it easy, okay? We'll carry the crops. But... You're right. That's probably best. Hey, 
I'll take care of it. You spend some time with your friend. I... Thank you, Sarai. I was about to say, use your portals! Smart. Now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> That's one way to... Oh! Take it easy, girl. Wow, this really hurts. I hope I'll be able to... We're with you no matter what. We didn't come this far for nothing. I'll see this through. I think I have finished. Yeah? Are you happy with the result? Why do you ask? I did for you. Well, are you happy you did it for me? Yes, but I hope you like it. I'm sure he will, Malcolm Mud. I remember you. You can look too. He's so strange and funny. I kind of love it. Yes. Yes, yes. So the crops go up there. Chuck them in. Flour fills up here for mixing. After a little kneading, bring it up here. Thread some more. Let it sit with the heat and... Good job, Malcolm Mud. It's perfect. I only follow your plan. Guys, this is going to be huge. Can we help? Of course. This is a team effort after all. This is the craziest, most fun plan ever. We're making so much bread to wake up a sleeping dragon. Oh, it looks so good! Alright, Malcolmud. Time for the heat. Moving the two golems so some lava flows in? I had a feeling. Perfection. Now we let it bake. Oh my gosh, look at this! <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. I want some of that bread. Sheesh, it looks good. It comes and goes. Like right now, I feel just fine. Let's just share more memories, okay? It's all I want. Oh, I know. Remember when I brought you cookies while you were at the academy? Yeah, you never told us how you managed to make the flying platform move. With a monocle? Huh? Was it a magic monocle? Oh no, I used it to focus sunlight directly onto the rune. It made sense, so I just went for it and it worked. The beam wasn't very strong though. That must have taken hours. Sure did. Eight, in fact. <laughs> no way. Yep. Well, eight hours of sunlight to be exact. That's excluding the night I spent halfway up in the air. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl. How did you not get caught? Oh, I got caught. But I was already out of reach by the time Gran saw me. I wish I could have seen her face. <laughs> Believe me, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Oh, man, that bread just keeps looking better and better. Seriously, I want some of it. Give me some of girls cooking. And then... Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Girl! I'm... I think my time's almost up. Don't say that. I have to. 
have to finish this. Valir, please tell Malcolmud to cut the lava flow. Zael, I need Zephyr now. Here. I hope this works. Carry the scent of the bread to the dragon. Oh, come on. Let this work, please. Oh, he's awake. Please tell me he's in a good mood. I mean, come on. Waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread. Who wouldn't be? And here he comes! Okay, I love that. Thank you, curious one, for this unprecedented act of goodness and generosity. Through your creation, the elements have soothed my long-tormented soul. Hey, anytime. It's just bread, really. This marks a new beginning for me. If it is not too much to ask, would you be willing to give me a new name? I... Sure. <coughs> I still have a bit of time. I can do this. Okay. So what are your ambitions? My past was one of anger and destruction, but you have shown me the way to a higher purpose. I wish to honor your memory by becoming a devoted caterer. <laughs> okay, I love that. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. <coughs> so, a butler, huh? How about Sinclair? Nah, hold on. Oh, I know. For this new life, I shall name you Wentworth. Okay, that, that's a good butler name. Wentworth. Once again, I thank you. Never have I encountered such a caring soul. I understand your time is almost up. Is there anything I can do to repay your kindness? There is one thing, yes. For my final journey, I'd like to fly on your back with my friends. It would be my honor and privilege. Then please take us to Moon Cradle. I want to be buried under the Celestial Willow. Garl! Oh, man. Oh, with him laying on the back. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, that's rough. I might cry. This is just... Oh. Hey. So we got to fly for a second time. That's pretty neat, huh? You should save your energy, Garl. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. I'm just... Really sleepy. We'll be with you until the end. I know. I'm so lucky. Hey, promise me one thing. Anything. 
I want you to use this gift. You'll travel across the Sea of Stars, whatever that is. We'll do it. For you. I mean, someone has to kick Arlena's butt and teach the Fleshmancer a lesson. Might as well be you, right? We'll go and do that. Don't worry. Oh, and you'll keep cooking too, right? Use what I taught you? Every day. We'll miss you so much. Sail. Valir. I can't thank you enough. For everything. All these moments together. All the adventures. I couldn't have asked for better friends. I... Oh, man. Oh, and that's just painful game. We are gathered here today to honor Garl, the warrior cook. Born in Moon Cradle, he chose a life of adventure and accomplished many deeds. From fighting alongside Solstice warriors to founding the peaceful town of Mirth, he even managed to soothe the sleeper. Yeah, you surely showed him in the end, son. Good work. Like a true Pirate chef. This adventure won't be the same without you, pal. May he be remembered for his warm heart, his bravery, and his unrelenting smile. May he be remembered. Girl, you really were the best of us. I miss you so much already. The world will hear the stories of your deeds for generations to come. This is my vow. Thank you for teaching me, Master Garl. I am glad you liked the kiln. It has been a couple of weeks already. Are we leaving any time soon, Captain? We are giving Zale and Valir as much time as they need. Aye, must hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. Sure would hurt something fierce to lose one of our own. But you're right, Valtrade. Their friendship was something else. So, Captain... Any ideas for our next adventurer? Yes. The time has come. Captain? Oh, how exciting.
I still can't believe he spent all that time on the platform with just a monocle and a cookie jar. He sure was a loyal friend. The best. Valir, I think I'm ready. I've been thinking about Arlena. No matter what kind of fleshmancer monster she's become, we have to defeat her. Wherever she is. Garl sure held up his end of the bargain. The Sky Giant's Council will let us through, I suppose. Across the Sea of Stars. Whatever that means. For Garl, then? For Garl. Attend the ceremony. With innocence lost and purpose reaffirmed, the powers of Solon and Luana start to awaken within Zael and Valir. Zael learns ultimate attack, Solon's light, salvation. Valir learns ultimate attack, Luana's might, retribution. Y'all ready to avenge your friend? We are. And with that, next time, we're heading out to cross the Sea of Stars. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button. And I... We'll see you guys next time.